Today, we are going to attempt to go 82-0 by opening different promo packs throughout the Season 7 of NBA 2K22's My Team. Now, Season 7 was very superhero theme, a very comic book theme, and as you can see, we have a Fearless pack, a Galactic pack, I have an Origin pack, I have a second Origin pack, and we also have one Next pack. Also, in Season 7, we got these Unfaced packs. Basically, what's going to happen is I'm going to open these promo packs that were released throughout the lifetime of season seven and whatever i pull from those packs will be added to a lineup over on my league and we will see if they can go 80 to and oh last video i did of this was the next pack so that's going to be the first pack we open of this video if you guys don't already know the rules whatever player we get they are going to be put in a lineup no matter what overall they are if we get two cards we have to use both of those players for example, we just got 72 overall Frank Jackson. That is the first player added to our team that is supposed to go 82 and 0. A wonderful start to the team. What a great addition. Frank Jackson might be the key to going 82 and 0. Pack number two, I'm going to go with the origin packs this time because Clay Thompson, he just won a championship. We'll rip it open. Hopefully we get something cool, not even a shake. That's very uncool. So uncool that we got DeMontis Sabonis and Ty Jerome, two very, very bad pulls. That origin pack was hot trash. Hopefully our luck will change while we open this unfazed pack. Three packs, no shakes. Pretty sad to see. I don't think we're going to get anything good here as it's all golds, which that's very bad. But we do get saved here as we got Frank Jackson once again. That's a repeat player. So he's not added to the lineup because we already have Frank Jackson. We're not going to be using him. I'm going to go ahead and rip open a next pack with some MT. It's not a locker code pack, so maybe it's a little bit more lucky. Like I said, last time we did this, we pulled three dark matters. And this time our luck is not going to change as we get a 76 overall Nate McMillan. Listen, we're opening the fearless pack here. We have a shake. If it's a dark matter, that looks like it's going to be a great addition to our team, but it could be just a galaxy opal. It could be a diamond, could be a pink diamond, but here we go. And it's going to be a pink diamond. I might've jinxed ourselves, but we're going to get whoever this is plus 75 overall Nicholas Batum. I don't really care about Matum. Give us a good pink diamond, please, 2K. Who is it going to be? Now, I don't know who's in these packs. I have no clue who we could get. Shooting guard, 24. Trailblazers. I thought we were about to get Kobe when I saw the shooting guard in 24. But no, we get a 96 overall Norman Powell. Next up, we have a galactic pack on the front there. I see LeBron. I see Tracy McGrady. Either one would be a massive boost to a team, but I'll take a 92. I'll take a 93. And we got a second shake. Please, 2K, give me a pink diamond or higher. It is. I will take the pink diamond. We also get 72 Vernon Carey Jr. Who is the pink diamond going to be? I'm going to flip it over. I don't even know who's in these packs. Eastern Conference, power forward, number five pink diamond for the Wizards. Who is this? I actually, is this Antoine Jameson or Karan Butler or Jawan Morgan? Jerron Howard. Why did I say Morgan? I don't know. Jawan Howard, though, is a 96 overall duo of Jawan Howard and Norman Powell going to lead us to 82 and 0? I don't know. You're going to have to see. So keep watching the video. Like, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff. Thank you. We currently have eight players, but I only have this origin pack left saved up. But the Iced Out 2 and the Mystic Award pack, I have both gotten over the course of this last week, getting the daily rewards. So I'm going to count them as being something related to season seven. This whole video is about saying goodbye to season seven and my team as a whole. I haven't played my team in a while, but I figured, hey, let's have a little theme to it. Let's do another 82 and 0 challenge. And out of the mystic packs it doesn't look good i see a gold and i see a sapphire a sapphire is not too bad here and we get 85 overall sim bular now he's a big man a giant model but i don't think his regular model is in the game so i'm gonna have to add a fake version of sim bular either way that's a pretty good pull and that's probably gonna be the equivalent to last video's brian reeves we have iced out we have origin i'm gonna end with origin because we've already pulled one of them we started with it We'll finish with it iced out though if we could get a chris bosh that would be huge as we get a shake it's a pink diamond a third pink diamond is huge because remember while pink diamonds are trash in this game a 95 to a 96 is huge 
for Miley, because we get a 69 overall Isaiah Jackson. It's a pretty nice pull, if you get what I'm saying. But all I care about is if we got a pretty solid pink diamond Eastern Conference shooting guard number three, Washington Wizards. Is this Bradley Beal? Did we just pull Beal? We pulled Beal. I don't know if Bradley Beal's staying with Washington. This card is dope. I like the card art. I like the little ice on his hands. Shout out to Bradley Beal. He is now on the squad. We now have 11 players on the team. So after this pack, if we get one player, we'll have 12. If we get two, we'll have 13. So I'll open the next pack after this. But Origin Award Pack is our final unopened award pack let's rip this bad boy open if we get another pink diamond the team is pretty solid we have another shake which is something you love to see if it's a pink diamond i'm happy but if it's a dark matter or a galaxy opal which is exactly what that is i am ecstatic we have another good player added to the team this time it's a point guard we needed a point guard are we getting jeremy lin lin sanity is added to the team at 98 overall jeremy lynn can he lead this team to the promised land will insanity come back to life and lead a squad to 82 and 0 i have no clue but we are definitely about to see we also got the less famous bo cruz willie Hernan gomez he's here too 79 is not that bad actually we have 13 players but we need two more so here we go we are going to rip a next pack like i said i have very very good luck with these we've pulled three dark matters out of them go watch the last video if you haven't already and i see a shake and there we go did i call it yes sir there is a dark matter we get marquise chris he's added to the team but who will the final member of our squad be from the next promo he is a no numbered small forward number 13 is this jabari smith is it no it's not jabari we pulled this guy before no it's no we haven't welcome to the squad Tari Eason. I don't know if I can pronounce that. I think I pronounced that wrong. We ended up getting the rookie who just got drafted by the Houston Rockets the other day in the latest draft. Tari Eason, welcome to the squad. I will take a 99 overall because that pretty much guarantees that we go 82 and 0. Maybe. The final pack is a goaded pack. 99 overall Tari Eason and a 74 overall Marquise Chris. Here's a look at the team we will be using to attempt the 82 and O challenge the team is pretty good we have five 90s on the squad but our bench is very very lacking i'm not too happy with it but it's fine demontis sabonis he'll carry us to the promised land i'm gonna go put them over on a my league roster and i'll see you guys there when i do it and we will go on to season one like i said you know the rules if you haven't seen the other videos go watch the other my team 82 and O challenges but for people who are new we do three seasons with the cards that we pull from the packs. If we go 82 and 0 in any one of those three seasons, it's a success. If we get it done in season one, the video ends there. Season two, video ends there. Season three, video ends there. If you're ready to see the team in my league, make sure you subscribe, like up, and uh, comment down below which one of these cards you think will have the best season in a my league. After pulling all of the season seven promo packs, we've built a pretty dang good team. As you can see, we got 99 overall Tari E and he's a rookie so obviously his real cyber face isn't in here but he's on the squad we also have lynn sanity's 98 overall galaxy opal we got norman powell's pink diamond juan howard has a pink diamond beal has a pink diamond and then we got the sapphire sim Bular. he's huge he's gonna be our starting center we also have some bonus willie hernan gomez a pretty solid team our lineup's gonna go jeremy lynn bradley beal eason Jawan Howard, Simbular, and then Norman Powell will be our sixth man simply because I don't want to run Howard or Eason at the center because they're a little small. But when you got 7'7", 350 pound Simbular, I don't think I have to worry about size no more. You've seen the squad, and now it is time to see if we can go 82 and oh, Hopefully, we don't lose in the first two weeks like it has happened in the past. Now, uh, you might be wondering, why are the Wizards the team that you chose? Well, simply because we got Jawan Morgan and Bradley Beal. Both of them are, you know, two really good Wizards players. I wouldn't say they're the greatest Wizards of all time, but they're pretty good Wizards. Why is this screen come up? No one cares about Victor Wynn and Yamba, all right? They're all scrubs. We're doing pretty good so far, though. We've made it all the way to December without a single loss, which is awesome to see. Now, if you do enjoy this video, like I said, subscribe because I have a huge, huge video coming up 15 other my team content creators will be involved with one of the 82 and 0 challenge videos coming up. So like I said, 
get excited, subscribe, post noties. A lot of big names, some small names, some names my size, some names I don't even know. You know, I'm not going to tell you who's in it, but it's going to be a loaded video. There's going to be a lot of cool people in it. And so far, the squad is doing pretty darn well. We're already into January. Still no losses. We're coming up on the all-star break. So if we go 82-0 in the first season... I'm going to be pretty hype. I'm not going to lie. If season seven blesses me with a 82 and 0 completion, I'll be happy. I might even return to psych. No, I'm not returning to my team for season eight. If you know, I've been doing my team for like the last two years. Stop playing it recently. Switching back to the my league genre because it's superior. But, you know, I've been combining some concepts doing my team and my league on the side. You know, at the same time, doing a little combination, making them have a little baby of each other. It's pretty sick. It's pretty. We lost. We lost to the Pistons. I had a really good feeling about this season. We were so, so close to going 82 and 0. We were 10 games away from going undefeated this season and we lose. To the Detroit Pistons. What's crazy about this is the Detroit Pistons aren't even that good. They got Jaden Ivey, great rookie, Cade Cunningham, Beef Stew, Sadiq Bay, Kelly Olinick is still there, and we lost to them. We lost in overtime, which makes this loss hurt even more. We couldn't close it out, and for that, I am very, very sad. We finished the season by winning every single one of those last couple of games. Jeremy Lin ended up winning MVP, 32 points, 10 rebounds, 9 assists, 2 steals, and 2 blocks. Jeremy Lin, your my team card is 2 OP when you're in my league. Now, our Tyree Eason, he was a 99 overall, so of course he's going to be winning Rookie of the Year, which is awesome. Sixth man of the year goes to Norman Powell, another player on our team. So, pretty stacked team in terms of awards, but we win 81-1. and Now, both Jeremy Lin and Tari Eason made the All-NBA first team, which is pretty sick to see. Other than that, I don't see anyone else making any teams. We lost one game all season, so I can safely say that we are winning the championship, and we are just sweeping the entire league as we go 16-0 in the postseason. The Wizards are your champs, and Jeremy Lin is Finals MVP. Same rotation, Jeremy Lin, Bradley Beal, the rookie, Jawan Howard. Howard Simbular, and then we're going to have Norman Powell come off the bench. Powell won six man of the year last year, so I think it's a no-brainer to keep him coming off the bench. 25-6, and six, huge season for him. Pretty awesome to see. Simbular, not really that great last year. Only averaging five points, eight rebounds, five assists, and under a block. You're 7-7. Seven, seven. You should be getting every block possible. Jawan Howard also struggled, only averaging around 13 points and nine rebounds. That's fine. He's gone up to a 99 overall, all four of of our players who are sub 98s, 97s, 96. They progress pretty well, and they're all 99s as well. So I think this is going to be the season we go 82-0. Should have been the first season, but the Detroit Pistons don't want us to have happiness, just like the franchise doesn't want their fans to be happy, because the Pistons stink. Our very first game is against the Knicks. I'm going to hit simulate through date, and if we win, that means we're going 82-0. Yes, sir. Here we go. That is where we start. Now, as I'm recording this video, news just came out that KD is requesting a trade pretty nuts to think about now i'm recording this on the day that free agency opens up i'll be going live for free agency if you missed it well then go back and watch it maybe i don't know maybe you don't want to watch that either way i will be live for free agency playing some 2k22 doing some my leagues that's going to be a lot of fun if you missed it go back it'll probably be a fun stream to rewatch because it's going to be a lot of just talking basketball doing things on 2k basically the things i do in these videos but on a stream and you can interact with me. I don't know. Why am I plugging a stream that probably already happened by the time you're seeing this video? I don't know. But it's going to be cool. It's going to be a fun stream. So far, though, like I said, January, we are so far, so far, so good. You know, we're winning everything. We beat the Pistons by 43 and 60, respectively, in our last two matchups with them. So do I think they're going to beat us this time? Yeah, probably. They're still probably going to ruin our day. Or one random team, a dark horse team. Hopefully not an actual horse team like the Mavericks. They got a horse on their logo. And Luka likes to ruin the fun a lot in these 82 and 0 challenge videos. But like I said, I think our team is doing pretty good. We're at the all-star break. Still haven't lost, but we got all the way to the end of the season. We had literally 10 games left and we lost against Detroit. So, like I said, it's not over till it's over. But with a Jawan Howard, with who else? We got Bradley Beal, we got Jeremy Lin, and we got a rookie, 499 overalls with Simbular, the GOAT, the greatest card in 2K history. 
and off the bench we got a pink diamond norman powell who's really good off the bench anyways and as you can see it you saw no l's on your screen jeremy lynn is mvp that's awesome good for him victor don't care norman six man of the year awesome Giannis, don't care jovic don't care Wes Unseld, though, that's what we care about because in the second season, our squad went 82 and 0. Jeremy Lin is on your all NBA first team, obviously, because he won MVP. He's just that damn good. We also had Bradley Beal on the all NBA third team, averaging like 28 points this season, so everyone pitched in had a wonderful year if you want to see the stats here you go lynn beal norman powell came off the bench with our third most points and then you got tari eason Jawan howard sim Bular. slightly increased his numbers still not amazing it's fine not really stressed about it we have a bunch of 99 overalls who need the ball in their hands as well willie Harden gomez and demonta sabonis were the only guys who really got any minutes off our bench and they both did very very well they put up respectable numbers obviously they're not superstars they're sharing the floor with 99 overalls but they still did pretty darn good i'll simulate the playoffs as i close out the video there as we went 82 and 0 in our second season i appreciate you guys watching make sure you subscribe like up comment down below what 82 and 0 type challenge you want to see next and like i said subscribe for more i'll see y'all in future videos be on the lookout for that massive 82 and 0 challenge with a bunch of other my team content creators appreciate you watching as always benny broy little codeine peace out